Hello, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Krita for pixel art. I'm using Krita 4.1.5, but it should be pretty similar for past and future versions, although things might be in different spots. So let's get started. First, you're going to want to change a couple settings. We go to Settings and then Configure Krita. Then up here under General, we want to go to Window and make sure that Multiple Document Mode is set to Subwindows instead of Tabs. That'll allow us to have multiple views of the same document at different zoom levels. Then under display, you'll want to set pixel grid to a nice high contrast color that you can see against pretty much anything else. And set this start showing at to something a little lower than stock, because you'll want to be able to see that pixel grid a little more zoomed out than you would doing regular art. Then go ahead and hit OK, and you'll need to restart Krita for that uh, subwindow mode option to actually take effect, so do that and then you can create a new document. I'm going to set mine to 64 by 64 and you'll be presented with your blank document on which you can draw. So I'll go ahead and make a new layer here and then we want to select a pixel art brush. Krita comes with one called pixel art which you can find by searching for it in the brush presets. Then as you would expect you can paint individual pixels. You can draw with it uh, just as you would expect. You can also use the other drawing tools like the uh, line tool. That works fine. And the stuff like the box works as well. So let's see about that subwindow mode. Let's just draw a circle here real quick so we got something on the canvas. It's a terrible circle. Then we can go to window and then go to new view and I'll make a new view of this currently unnamed document and we'll get a second view here in the window drop down and to see both of them at once we want to go to tile and we can see that this one is next to it and we can scale that down to whatever we want let's go change that from fit page to 400 that's a good zoom level and then we can expand this one out and as you can see it works in real time we can see changes as we make them which is obviously very useful now for some of the other tools that you're probably going to want to use uh, let's start with the fill bucket you'll want to make sure that tool options uh, you have threshold set to 1 so that colors don't bleed at all. Make sure gross selection is 0 and feathering rate is, is also 0. And it'll work as one would expect a fill bucket tool to work. Then, oh yeah, and of course if you're in your brush tool you can also press E to get a pixel eraser without having to switch tools. So yeah, the fill brush works fine. And then your selection tools you might have to tweak a little bit. For instance, the lasso tool there, you'll need to make sure that, let me demonstrate real quick. If you have anti-aliasing set, then when you try to move something, it blurs the edges. So you need to make sure that it is unset when you make your selection. As you can see, now it moves just fine and the pixels don't get all blurred. Now if you want to do a transformation, the transform tool works fine. Dragging the selection around with this also works fine, but it's kind of hard to use because it does not show an anti-aliased preview of what you're doing. Um, the main catch is you need to make sure that this is set to nearest neighbor. Let me show you what happens if it's not. If it's set to the default of bicubic, if you do something like a scale, it blurs the edges really nasty like that. So if you set it to nearest neighbor, you can do scales and rotations and stuff, and it'll stay sharp. It won't necessarily stay like one-to-one -one scaled, obviously, because you're scaling it but it won't blur it like it will if anti-aliasing is enabled. 
So that's pretty much all you need to know. And of course, you have all the regular tools of Krita at your disposal. Use and abuse them. And uh, you can also do animation just like you can do with regular documents. So that's a nice thing to be able to do from the same tool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And that's about it.